What's up my Pongios, Andy with Tech Influence here. Excited to share with you guys an update here to the mobile rig from the folks at Newer. This is the Mark II for their mobile rig for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. What's great here is it features now the additional faceplate for your T-Series. You've got the 17 millimeter and you even have the 67 millimeter for their cool filters that they have sold separately. I think this is definitely a welcomed update here as the first iteration had its drawbacks. Mark II looks very similar to the competition with these nice flowy lines and chamfered edges. It's less blocky and it has a much more unique aesthetic. I like how it still uses the anodized aluminum that's married together with the silicone lining. It allows you for more versatility with all of the additional quarter 20 mounts as well as the cool chew mounts. With that said, I do have a relationship with them, but for this video, I did purchase this with my own money. This video is sponsored, however, by our channel sponsor and if you want to get unique full grain leather goods for your iPhone, for your AirPods, your MacBook Pro wallets, you name it, this has really nice aged leather that tans and patinas over time. More on that a little bit later in the video. With that said, let's go and unbox it, show you the differences between the two rigs here, as well as the stark similarities to the competition. Unboxing is straightforward here. It's wrapped in their plastic that can be recycled and it's got all the different lens faces here for your choosing. In the box, it comes with obviously three different face plates here to be able to match whichever style you wanna go for, whether it's the 17 millimeter from Sandmark or T-Series from Moment, or if you wanted to use their filter mount system or some of your own 67 millimeter filter mounts, they've got that as well. As you can see here, it's got really clean anodized aluminum here with nice chamfered edges here. It's got the clean brushed look as well as the silicone wrapped around the edges. I really like how they've got the quarter 20 here on the sides to get that horizontal look, or if you wanted to have something vertical they do have the slots as well it does look like here they've got these grooves here that could possibly fit a quick mount system and then they've got obviously the railing system on the front for the camera to be able to lock into the face plates Coming up close here, you've got really clean lines around the edges. It's, it's put together with nice hardware and they've got the silicone to be able to protect it in those key points. You've obviously got the quarter 20 mounts here as well, the hinge. You've got the cutouts for the IO. You've got the cold shoe mount with rubber housing here as well. And you've got the nice locking system that is carried over from the previous version. It does look remarkably similar to the competition. This is the Brandon Lee here from Small Rig. As you can see, it kind of follows those similar contours. It's even got the grips here for that quick release. However, after closer inspection, it isn't necessarily ubiquitous or it doesn't necessarily grip onto the small rig. They probably have their own quick release system as well. Mounting is refined here, which I think is nice. It was a little bit more difficult here to fit it in. They do have a nice little button here that will make it easier for you to be able to depress it and lock it into place. It kind of has that satisfying click as it does. Let's go ahead now and install it. It's pretty clean and straightforward. It's just gonna slide through. What I like here is that it is going to grip it into place. The Pixel 8 Pro, unfortunately, doesn't have a clean grip here when you just slide it in. It isn't until you fasten it down here and lock it in place where the phone is now fully protected. Pixel 8 Pro had an issue. This does not. It looks great here in the hand as well. Comparing it from the previous model, as you can see, they have the harsher ridges. It looks like it's a little bit thicker. I like how you've got the nice chamfered edge around to give you that cleaner look. And then they've got more of this blocky look and a more difficult rail system to be able to connect it here. My biggest issue here was unable to connect this small rig cold shoe mount here to the rigging. For some reason, the cold shoe mount tolerance was off just a hair. Now you can go ahead and mount it here without any problem. It does stick here. It is a little bit looser than I'm comfortable. You have to kind of make sure that it goes all the way in to give it that nice grip. You can go ahead and throw on a receiver if you wanted to add the road receiver. It makes it really simple to be able to accessorize here, which is nice. It's a warm welcome, I like that. We're gonna go into place on the T-Series here to show you that T-Series can be snapped right on there and it just looks really clean in the hand, I like that. As you can see here, it's really clean. I really like how they made it softer around these edges and it just looks for a cleaner grip and a rig. 
Both of them in the hand here, it's clear that the Mark II does a much better job here at showing you the elegance and professionality here of the, of the features of the iPhone. Throwing on the 17 millimeter mount, you can throw on the 16 millimeter wide from Sandmark. It looks clean as well. I really like that option. What's cool here is they have sold separately here an 87 millimeter magnetic filter mount system. This is a V and D two to 32. If you wanted to go up to 64, they have an extra 32 filter that just can slap right on top. Otherwise, if you wanted to, you can go in and throw on a diffusion of about 20% to get that really nice soft look if you wanted to make your shots more cinematic. I like that. All right, we're here on location with the Mark II rig from Newer. This is for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. We're gonna be shooting a ProRes log here at 4K60, and then I'm going to slow it down to 30 frames a second. And we're just gonna throw on all the different attachments here that you can use on it. I've got my T9 rig here that fits in USB Type-C, so I'll be able to record all that footage there. Let's jump into this. I really like how the rig really matches the contour of the titanium. It looks really good. Cold shoe mount doesn't have a problem. The IO here looks great here. And then the grips, which are sold separately, I think are a nice addition as well. They're nice and grippy here and they have a very soft touch. You can place it on a tripod. You can connect a myriad of different lenses here, as you can see, and this is a great way here to be able to level up your content creation. Like I said, we're shooting in ProRes Log here, 4K 60, and then I've slowed it down to 30 frames a second. I'm shooting on the moment T-Series 18 millimeter wide and it just looks so clean. I've got this custom look in there and so it's going to make it look really buttery. Slow motion is really nice. I really like how there's no fringing on the edges here of this lens and being able to connect here to the newer mount I think is awesome. The bokeh is fantastic. You can see the little balls in the background and it's still able to get the subject very cleanly in shot. I've got a lot of low light and highlight situations here. You can see that it doesn't do too much extra sharpening. We've got everything in contrast and even shining here in the sun. It still looks really cool with that lens flare. I like that. Now moving on here, I swapped into the 87 millimeter 32 V and D with 20% diffusion. This is from newer. This is right. It just attaches right onto the rig and it looks really good. This made my footage look very, very orange, but it softened the edges with that diffusion. It was able to get a really clean look. This was a little bit shady and so it kind of overexposed it, but this leaf looks really cool with this custom look here. And then lastly, showing you what my rig is, getting a really clean depth of field while still keeping contrast and focus great. Andar in Spanish means to carry, and this is my everyday carry here for my iPhone 14, my iPhone 15. Andar features a wide variety of high-end luxury leather goods, including bags, handbags, wallets, cases, watch straps for your Apple Watch, and wallets to boot. I love my Aspen, which comes in a myriad of different colors. If you want to opt into the brown for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, or if you wanted to opt into the clamshell case for your MacBook Pro, I have the moss color and I love how that full grain leather just looks on the back of my computer. I also have the watch strap, which is a great way to be able to add to your Apple Watch and have luxury on the go. And our sources the leather ethically, and they have excellent customer service in the event you have a question, a concern, or a need. Check out down below in the description for a 15% off code using Tech Influence for a coupon here on your first order. Check out those links as well as they do help out the channel. And there you have it. This has got the Diffusion 20% on there with the 32 VND. I really like how it looks, and I think it's just really easy to be able to operate, to be able to store and have in a pinch. With that said, don't forget to check down below for the link to get 15% off your first order for Andar. It used Tech Influence at checkout. It is a great way here to be able to protect your phone, have MagSafe, full green leather for all your goods, like wallets, bags, cases, you name it. With that said, I think this rig is definitely a warm welcome. Mark II is a really nice update here. It would've been nice once they released this last year to be able to have that. Now that it's in our hands here, this is certainly something I would recommend. So check down below for the link in the description for the product pricing and availability. This is a sponsored video. 
Thanks so much for watching, guys. Andy with Tech Influence. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.